Okay, today I brought the the bow tent frame out. See, I did make a bow tent frame in the woods to try my covers out, but that was just to try the covers out. That bow tent frame ended up being firewood. So this is the actual bow tent bow tent frame. Uh, that I'll be keeping for the bow tent and I've never actually put it up before so I don't know whether it goes together or not so this is what I'm here to try it and make sure it goes together because you wouldn't want to go away take the tent away somewhere and the, the frame doesn't fit together so this is what today's video is about so this is a ridge pole and you use the ridge pole to put the ribs in so wherever there's a, a hole you put a hole for the, a rib and if you remember this is a I also use this pole for the barrel and uh, these wing nuts bolts and wing nuts they actually bolt the wheel on well there's another two which is on the wheel uh, but this doubles up as a barrel so I'll get some holes made so that's uh, the ribs they're all marked uh, for the right and left side and there's three for the back so I'll just sort them out and I'll start putting them up So I've laid all the poles out on our corresponding sides uh, That's that side That's that side And the three down there They're for the back uh, So let's get building So that's a frame up It really only takes a couple of minutes to put the frame up I'd say you put the frame up and five minutes max doesn't it take long at all so this is what we look at it and that frame although the three back the three back poles only tied on they should be tied on but I've not tied them on that's a sturdy tent or a sturdy frame that really is a sturdy frame that that you could think with the cover, cover on that see what they did was when they put the covers on they put big stones along the side to hold the cover on but even that if you put a cover on that and even if you put guy lines or pegged it in that would take a tremendous amount of wind to blow that tent down uh, they really are very, very, very strong tents. I mean, there's been people said, or people have said that there's been they, these have stood up to 70 mile an hour gales and no problem. But so these three poles at the back. Now, if I'm putting this barricade on. I could either just get rid of one of the poles and put the, the front door there or see they, they, they would actually be quite straight it's because there's a bit of a lump here uh, I don't know what it might be a big log it's under there somewhere but that should actually be quite straight and not as far out as that uh, probably about that far out coming up kind of straight and going in uh, So, aye, you'd either get rid of one of the poles and make the front door there or get rid of all the, do all the poles and make the door there and put the barricade on this side uh, or the other side, it depends what you want to do and a barricade pole, one of the, the first pole would be beside this pole and the same with the other side then the barricade would come back here six foot and then the sides of the barricade would go on on and over here 
and they would get they would get there'd be a, a guy line pegged in here, going over the top of the tent, and the barricade would tie to that. And this top cover would tie to that as well. So everything would be tied on round here. And then that means that if any smoke comes down up for the barricade, comes up over the barricade and comes down, that's the tent, it can't get into the tent then. So that is the frame. So and the frame's made out of hazel. The, the ribs are made out of hazel. And the ridge pole is made out of ash. But you can make the ridge pole out of anything. You can make it out of what a, a, a piece of fence. See one of these straps for a fence? You could make it out of that. Uh, killing dried hardwood or something. Just the same thing, you put the holes in it. I just thought I'd make a, an ash one. But they, they call it a rigging stick. But you can make make them out of anything. So that's the frame. Let's see, it only takes ten minutes. Well, time you take out of the bag, time you take out of the bag and put it up, it takes you about ten minutes. The covers would take another ten minutes to put on because you've got the liner to go on. Then if you're not using the, the barricade, you've got the liner to go on, you've got the back cover to go on, you've got the front door cover to go on, and then you've got the big main cover to go on. Uh, that should take about 10 minutes. But, it's a great tent. The size of the tent is, it's, the ribs are six feet wide, and the ribs, the five ribs go along eight feet long. This extra bit gives you an extra two feet. So it makes the, the whole tent about 10 feet long. The tent's about four feet high. So it's about four feet high. Depends how far you put your poles in, but your poles should go in about six inches minimum. You can put them in a bit, a bit further than that if you like. But, yeah, it's, it's a really good, strong tent. That would, I don't know if I could sit in that, but I'm not going to try it, but, uh, yeah, good strong tent, and hopefully we'll get using it this year.